So YouTube, um, I actually seen a video uh, asking the guys on Reddit, how did a girl ruin her chances, you know, with ever being with you? Um, so I thought that'd be pretty fun to check out and go over with you guys. Uh, yeah, so let's uh, see what that's about. Guys on Reddit, how did a woman ruin her chances with you? I've got a golden one. In college there was this woman I was interested in, seemed pretty cool etc. We hung out a few times, went on a date or two. We'd known one another for about 3 weeks. Her birthday was in that period. I was busy with a lot of midterms, but remembered and sent her a nice message via Facebook. I thought that was good. Nope. The next day on her blog, which she was writing for a class, and had asked me to read beforehand. She writes an angry post quoting my birthday message, and tearing it apart for being cheap and easy, not meaningful, or something like that. Here's the kicker. She ended with a declaration that no one should have people like the one who sent this message in their life. My birthday was a week before hers, and she never even acknowledged it. I took her advice, and cut ties then and all. Alright guys, so what we have here, we had this dude, right? He uh, he, he sent this lady, he sent, he sent the chick a, a message on, on Facebook, happy birthday message. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you fellas, like, back in the day when I first started out, like, I, I ain't know to even write a message. I just get a card, put whoever's name in there, like, you know, f like, to, however I was feeling at the time, to, sincerely, you know, love, like, whatever. And I give this to you, no message, just my name, message, her name, message already there, like, finish. This dude actually wrote a message on Facebook, so that's, I already got to give him props for that. But it is Facebook, you know, so it's like, it's kind of touchy, like, was it just happy birthday? Was it a DM? Like, was it kind of detail? I don't know. I don't know, but you know girls be liking that stuff, so you got to kind of put a little bit more to it. But three weeks, you know, it's kind of, it's a give and take situation. But how does she respond, though? <laughs> that's the funny, but how does she respond? She writes a blog about it in her class. Now, I've been called petty. I've been called petty. I've been called jealous. But, you know, I never, never petty to this level ever. Like, I, I wouldn't even consider myself petty, but that's petty. Like, you write a, you make a blog for your class explaining, like, all about this dude. Probably, <laughs> like, you, how do you explain, how do you come across and tell him this? like a straight face like you you just kind of dancing around like what you really want to talk about which you know i mean you could tell he was getting a hint in the, the way he was writing the story but you know that's that's kind of a that's super duper petty you guys so she writes them she writes some message and then she says she don't want to hang around nobody who does stuff like that like this guy probably like oh i wish she'd just kind of confront me a little bit you know anyway after sleeping with me she said that she doesn't want to see me again I did like her though, but I respected her decision. Three weeks of no communication I got a message from her saying, so that's how it's going to be. Don't ignore me. Oh yeah lady. No. Ah, she testing you bro. She testing you. She testing you. But I mean, he already, he already got the buns, so it's like, he probably ain't really, you know, it is what it is. She tell you to leave you alone. She, I'm gonna leave you alone. Like, <laughs> I don't know. She could have she could have done a better job at that. She made me buy her an egg roll from the place next to where we were eating. She didn't want to do it herself because she claimed Chinese people creeped her out. When I asked her why, she said because of Pearl Harbor. Also, she stole my iPod. So I'm an iPod like whoa, oh my god! Especially back in the day when, when everybody had iPod like them joints was not cheap. Man, you was you get your iPod stolen, you be you be sick the whole day like. And girls definitely do be stealing stuff, like, they'll, they'll smooth take what you got. And, and sometimes I kind of be thinking, like, they take your stuff to, you know, ensure that they see you again. Like, make sure they see you again. That's probably what happened. Like, she, he probably lent it to her, and she held on to it on purpose, so he had to come see her again. He, she knew she was drawn with that, 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 that uh, <laughs> what she said about Chinese people. So she probably said a lot of drawing stuff, so she got to do stuff like that, you know, secure that, secure that second date. I had an ex-friend, who we always flirted that line between friendship and the next step. She was great, loved video games, movies and was career driven. I said F it one night, and asked her out, and she said that we were too good of friends to risk it, so I left it at that, and we kept hanging out. 
She wanted me to take her to a strip club and even said she would love to try an amateur tonight and wanted me to come see her if she did it. She then began dropping more hints and would try to playfully grab my hand while we were out. Then she got her nipples pierced and once they healed, showed me and even dropped more hints about other tattoos and piercings I would like on her or another girl, you know. So again, I ask her if we just gave it a month and tried dating. No ex, didn't have to go that far. Again, she turns me down. Okay, whatever. A few weeks after that I met a girl and began dating her, my now wife. While playing WoW one night, female friend asks me if I were single, would I have ex with her? I told her I tried to just date her and she turned me down, but I told her yes, if she wanted to, I would have because I'm comfortable with her and had feelings for her. She logs for the night. Then a few days later asks me why she has a hard time finding boyfriends and every guy she likes gets a girlfriend. I ask her again what she means and she logs off wo w again. Finally, we have an argument one night about something and shortly after she unfriends me from Facebook and we stop talking. Word gets her around to me from mutual friends and she is upset that I got a girlfriend and she really liked me. I told everyone that I gave her the chance to say yes twice, and she turned me down, twice. Moral of the story is, if you like a guy, and you hint at it, and he asks you out, go with it, if it is what you really want. Alright fellas, so this last case, this case right here, this is what you gotta, this is a pure thought right here, she's super thotty dog, she just, this the type girl, you gotta get her all way in her emotions, you gotta get her all way in her emotions, one night, you gotta make her jealous. You gotta make her comfortable. You gotta do like get get every emotion from her you can like in one night. And make sure it's one night. Like if you don't hit, it's gonna take you a long time. Like, one night, get her all, make her feel all these emotions. You smash and that, and then that's it. She's not the type of girl, this, the girl like this that's gonna play her dance around like that. That's not the she. And she said she want to try the amateur night. Like she she obviously like she, she she just a thought, bro. Like you gotta. Get her in emotions, hit, and then keep it moving if that's what you want to do. Like, but yeah, she. I mean, he, he was he was right to cut her off. I'm glad you didn't give her no chance after that, man. You know what I'm saying straight, straight thotty. Like, that's how I be though. It's happened with a few women, but when they are super flirty with you one day, then text you the next day asking for advice about another guy. I get they're doing that to make you jealous and get you to make a move, but nothing turns me on. So much facts. He hit it on the head. He hit it on the head. Cause I mean, I, I I've never really experienced this to be honest with you. But I mean, as in this context, as far as like girls texting you about another dude, but I know what he mean. I get what he's saying. Like, don't be bringing up other dudes, other dudes' names, whatever. Like, especially if you just if you just said you 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 fucking with me. Like to me, to me, that makes me think that like you get around a lot. When you, when you, if you like me, you like him. You probably like him. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be telling me, like, if you like me, don't be telling me you like him too. You know what I'm saying? Don't be telling me dudes you like. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just don't be, don't mention it. Like, went on one date with this girl and took her to see Oz the Great and Powerful in 3D, and this is what happened. She ordered nachos with cheese, and when offered jalapenos, began shouting what's a jalapeno gym one to try then she started coughing and choking, when she ate a slice of one, and shouted ooh, why you gonna put that on him? No don't want it the cashier and I just looked at each other in disbelief. She ordered an excessive amount of snacks as well. When the film started she kept taking the 3D glasses off, and on and waving her hands around, while audibly declaring it's, like it's in my face. Never seen a 3D film before. F I'm hell. This caused people to turn around and put their fingers on lips to shush her. I waved apologetically to them. She got up and left halfway through and asked me to go with her. She wanted a cigarette. So we missed a good 10 minutes of the film. During said cigarette break she asked if I had money for weed. I don't smoke, drink or do drugs. After the film I went to draw some cash out of the ATM. At that point she then shoved her head between me and the machine and said how much you got. Ooh nice. I'll have some. I was just annoyed at this point and told her I couldn't lend her any money as I needed it. I dropped my wallet in the taxi and £20 slipped on the floor. 
She took it, and for a solid 2 minutes pleaded with me to could keep it. I said no obviously. When the taxi dropped her off she leaned in, and said can I give you a call later, if I want to take away I said no, because I had spent a considerable amount of money on what should have been a relatively cheap night out. Alright fellas, so I don't know if any of you, some of y'all might not have, you know, encountered this one. Some of y'all guys might not have encountered this chick, this, see this chick, this chick right here, she get, she ghetto, she ghetto, she ghetto, she mad ghetto. I mean, in the, in the, uh, in the story he did say pounds, so they must be like, you know, in Europe, Great Britain or something like, but I know a ghetto chick when I, when I see one, I, you know, and she, she mad ghetto, like, oh my gosh, she mad ghetto. Yeah, I'm not, I don't really, I'm not really into ghetto chicks myself, but, you know, <laughs> the, the thing that got me was, was when my, my guy dropped a 20 on the, on the ground, and then she probably went down, snatched it up mad quick, like, and then tried to keep it. See, nah. <laughs> That's, oh, damn. Yeah, I would have, after that, I would have called her the night myself. I would have called her night myself. I, 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 I'm actually interested in how he met this chick because he, he, they sound like they're from two different worlds or something. Or oh, you know what? She was. He mentioned he was. She was 22. And he's probably like older or something. He's probably like yeah. He's probably, he's probably older. But yeah, that, she was 22. You, you, you shouldn't be acting like that no more. But she probably don't got no responsibility. You guys like she get her. She probably don't got no responsibility. She probably like don't have no intentions of like doing better for herself. You know, but. Yeah, I mean, yeah, them ghetto chicks, man, you, you stay away from them. So she walked off in a half. For the rest of the journey I told the taxi driver what had happened, and we had a good laugh at what a shit night it was. Never saw her again. Phone calls etc. Agreed to meet up. She was bit bigger than her pictures showed and she said, but w slashy she was dope to talk to etc. I spent the afternoon with her, and she was just absolutely dead to be around. She only wanted to speak about herself, and how great her friend who she brought along was. I thought maybe it was nerves, so the next day I agreed to meet with her. She turned up late, because she met up with someone else earlier, and was gonna meet up with them again in an hour for a date. Maybe Trina make me jealous and try harder. Kyne lost all interest, that she didn't even explain in a text. She tried talking to me to arrange another date. Told her I was busy for the rest of the week. Never spoke. Alright guys, so here we got here we got a catfish. The story just don't end. We got a we got a nice variety in this video. We got a catfish here, guys. She gonna come looking bigger than her picture. And that happens a lot, you guys. That happens a lot. Like it happens a lot. So alright, she come up a little bigger. You said a little a little bigger. I mean, you know, you could probably probably not a big deal so it's whatever you on a date and then but this 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 would have got me right here like this would have this would have really like man this would have killed a night for me he said she brought her friend like like no, whoa like you brought you like what you mean so what are we doing now like we not we not interacting like how we should be interacting because we got a third wheel here i mean i mean when you i guess when you Man, if you young, super young, that's I guess is whatever. But when you older, like you can't you can't be having dates with third wheel. Like that's just corny. So yeah, she bring her friend. They they laugh and giggling. You know how that go, man. Like, you just sitting there like two people that already got chemistry, mad super duper chemistry, and you try to meet somebody like that's not fun. Like so so that happened, and then so she tried to get a second date after that. So. So they, they scheduled a date and she come up late talk, talking about, oh, she, she, was, she tells us, man, she was, she was out with somebody else. That's why I took her so long. Probably trying to make them jealous. But again, guys, that don't make nobody jealous. That, ma that just make us think you a hoe. That just make, that just make us think you a hoe. Like, you think, you, I'm saying, you talking to all these dudes, you, hang, you know, you like all these guys that just make us think you a hoe. Like, nobody want to hear that shit. And then my man, he, he cut her off like a G, too. He say, I'm busy for the rest of the week. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. You want to cut a joint out? That's how you do it. Like, salute to my guy right there for that one. All right, what else we got? Watch dinner. She straddles me. I told her I wasn't in the mood and I'd probably throw up on her if I was all shaken up. She gets pussy, goes to bed, and I wake up to a text the next morning that says I think you should stay at your mom's for a... 
All right, yeah. So this one, man, my man here, he said he he just he wasn't trying. He wasn't, you know, he wasn't trying to do nothing that night. And you gotta be careful, guys, because when you when you turn down sex from a female, like oh hell, gonna break loose. And it, it obviously it did. Telling him he should stay at his mom house. Like it gotta be deeper than that, right? Should stay at his mom house for a couple of days. Cause why? Cause why? Like you you bringing somebody to my apartment? Like nah. Nah, because of what? Cause, you know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't in the mood. Like, it, it happens. It happens. Like, it happens. Dudes don't be in the mood sometimes. Like, and you going to go out and find another dude for a couple of days? Like, nah, that's been, that's been going on. He's been ready, ready to break up with this man. Ain't no way. Like, that's the only thing you did, bro. Like, she was, she been done with you. I, I, I wouldn't accept that. I, I can't believe that shit. Couple <laughs> days. Hooked up with a chick one night and we went out on a couple of dates. Everything seemed cool at first, but then she got super clingy out of nowhere. I was hanging out with some friends without her one night, because she was busy with family, and she starts texting me. She asks me who all is hanging out that night and I tell her. She then starts accusing me of being more interested in my friend's fiance, and that I should just admit that she's not good enough, and I'd obviously rather be screwing my friend's girl instead. Already a huge red flag but I figure I'll deal with it later. After I tell her to drop it and stop messaging her she then starts try to sext me and sends me nudes. While I'd usually be somewhat down for that, right after an argument, while I'm out with friends, is really not the time. I dropped her right after that, when hey, this really isn't working out. You've clearly got issues you need to work on, didn't work, blocking her number thankfully do- Alright, so yeah, we got- Another chick here who he said he smashed early on. You know, he probably smashed first night, which, which, is, which is not a problem. It's cool. He, they date afterwards, but he said she got clingy. Damn, she got clingy. So what she do, she started making accusations. Now, I don't know, like, the accusa and the accusation she was making was kind of, like, off the wall. Like, he want he to get with his friend's fiance. That's wild. Like, that's that's a big claim, like. If you gonna say something like that, like you gotta have, you gotta have info, you gotta have like facts, like to back that up. You can't just throw that out there, and then when when he be like call you on your shit, when he call you on your shit, you 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 try like send him news and stuff. Like, see, I'm the type of guy I would have felt, I would let that slide. I'm not gonna lie to you, I was I would let that slide. I don't even worry about that. Like, you know what I'm saying? that that I take a little bit of drama like that. That don't bother me. I kind of like stuff like that to be honest with you, but. I don't know. She did take it a little far, but you you can train that up. You y'all y'all can train that up. Y'all can make it so it, it she don't act out like that. Like, yeah, yeah. I would kept that one. She probably looked good too. Maybe a little insecurities, but it, it is what it is. All right, what, what we got next? All right, guys. Yeah, so that's pretty fun. You know, I took a look at some uh, some interesting stories there. Got a couple, you know, perspectives going here. So you know. Uh, might have more of this in the future. Actually, we will have more of this in the future. Uh, I kind of like doing this. So, yeah, you know, you know, keep an eye out for the videos. I keep them coming for y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all later.